What's up guys, I'm Drew Lahoff and you're watching Maker's Best Friend. Today I'm going to go over the 3D print I used for the AutoCAD Cam Challenge. It was this trophy with an Autodesk logo on the top of it that I ended up 3D printing because I didn't have enough time to actually send out to get printed in metal. And I don't have any smaller CNC's that are able to cut to this type of detail um, for this trophy that I designed. But I wanted to go over the concept of 3D printing this trophy and I've done it three different times so that I could try and fix some of the mistakes that I noticed um, based off different factors going into the 3D printing process and also some of the facts of using a lower end 3D printer compared to those higher end ones out there. So. Um, this was the very first print I had. Um, it was, I obviously made it a lot bigger um, because the second prints I made afterwards were just so I could try and fix some of the factors and experiment with the different um, 3D factor parameters. So when I first printed it, I actually printed this one oriented on its left side and you'll notice on the left that there's a lot of issues in the details. Um, and the main reason this happened was because this side was on the printer bed which is heated. So over time that heat kept melting into the actual 3D print of the side um, and that starts to make it kind of get all um, kind of all rough on the edges and won't have the smooth side that the actual design was supposed to have which was actually ended, which ended up being on the top side. Um, the reason I printed and why I printed most of my stuff on the side and horizontally oriented is because my 3D printer has a lot of vibrations. So printing something standing up tall like this, most often I'll have that the printer piece will move and a rasp nest will be created, right? So if the printer moves and keeps trying to print the design where they think it was originally oriented, then you're gonna start having 3D printed filament just in open space around the 3D printer and that'll create this nest um, and just waste a lot of material and, and, and screw up your design, obviously. So that was one of the main issues. Um, I also noticed that this was printed with 60% um, of fill capacity and uh, a larger speed for traveling for the 3D printer. Um, and also I actually had the 3D filament um, uh, temperature coming out of the 3D printer at the higher end, uh, which I think actually removed some of the detail. So that was the very first print here. Then what I did was printed this second part here, which was again on its side, but I wanted to show that I could improve on the side aspect of how much was being affected there. What I ended up doing was I lowered the temperature of my printer bed, and I also lowered the temperature coming out of the filament uh, from the 3D printer, and I also slowed down the speed. All those factors I said that were an issue from the very start. Now there's still a problem here, um, and it's still rough in the edges, but it's definitely a lot better than this. It's kind of hard to tell through the camera, but this has a much bigger skew coming down the side than this. This just got roughed up, again, mainly because of the hot printer bed. Um, so uh, I didn't try printing this with shutting the uh, temperature on the hot bed off so that it would just be a cold bed. Uh, but the hot bed is also there to help, right? So it's there to help ensure that your piece doesn't move by melting um, your structures and your supports with the piece to a, only a slight degree. Obviously this is still too much um, so in future prints I'm going to still lower that temperature bed to keep improving on what this will look like. But at the very end I printed uh, with the orientation straight up. Again the main fear here is that since this is such a long tall piece this could have moved at any point and it could have wasted the 12 hours that this piece itself takes to design. And I didn't have a lot of that time um, when I first put in that first part for the Autodesk competition that I entered. So I played it safe, laid it out flat, and printed it that time. But this one, as you can tell, came out really well, right? So there's no problems uh, skewing or anything. You might think it's actually worse detail, but what I ended up doing was I didn't fix any of those parameters I was talking about with the, the hotbed. I didn't increase the fill density. I just left this at the same parameters as this very first piece to show you the difference of printing horizontally versus vertical pieces. Obviously, there's a lot of benefits when you, only the bottom part is touching that hot bed because at the bottom you'll see that there's issues there, but you don't really care about that with this 3D print. Um, I could sand that bottom layer away and there wouldn't be much of a problem and you can tell that the quality is just much higher. But the concept here is that there's so many different considerations for your 3D prints and it's not always viable to print 
things upright because of this orientation. And there are ways to improve on the print when they're horizontal. Um, so I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you guys have your own comments, your own experiences with 3D printing, please post them below. I'd love to hear back from you guys. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and post those below too. I try to get back to every single one of you guys. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead and like below and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I put out a lot of different products along these type of lines with 3D printing, CNCing, and other maker type of projects. Go ahead and subscribe below if you want to see more like that. As always, thanks again for watching, guys.